Welcome to Catholic Culture Audiobooks, a production of catholicculture.org and under the patronage of St. John Henry Newman. Today's reading, Hymn 10, from Hymns on Mary, by St. Ephraim the Syrian, translated by Sebastian Brock, narrated by James T. Majewski. Permit me, Lord, to tell with faith your story. You are the wonderful, O God. Wonderful in very truth are you, for wonder cannot attain to you, the one called wonderful in prophecy. Wonderful you are, and full of marvel. Marvel that consists entirely in wonder. Wonderful is your conception, Wonderful is your birth. You are entirely a source of wonder, a wonder that knows no bounds. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. In you may I commence, and in your confidence may I reach the end, O God who knows no bounds. May I open my mouth in response to your lowliness. Fill it, Lord, from your treasure store. I am the land, and you are the farmer. Sow your voice in the voice of me, a useless man. For it was you who sowed yourself in the pure girl as a child without flux, who shone forth from the Father and came from Mary, who, without being sown, gave forth the fruit. Mary knelt down and gave birth to the hero of all ages, the hero of mighty deeds, concealed in his being, hidden in his divinity. She fondled him and sang to him. As she kissed him, he leapt up to meet her. He gazed at her, smiling as a baby as he lay in the manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. When he began to cry, she got up and gave him milk. She embraced him, and she sang to him, swaying her knees until he became still. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. David, your ancestor, sang an ode to you before you came, O only begotten God. For he sang to you in his prophecy of the gold of Sheba, and now his song has become fact. For here are gold, myrrh, and incense piled up before you, O mighty child. Gold for your royalty, incense for your divine being, myrrh for your humanity. Behold, you are in your father, in Mary, and on the chariot, in the manger, and in every place. In truth you are in your father. Without any doubt you are in Mary, upon the chariot, and in the lowly manger. You are in every place, for you are the maker. You are in all, for you are the fashioner. You are from the Father, yet you are from Mary too. You are the one. You are he who has come and is to come. Alas for him who inquisitively seeks out and investigates the depths of your divinity. Alas for him who fails to confess you. Alas for him who shows you no love. Alas for him who has no faith in you. Alas for him who thinks that you are deficient. Blessed is he who has written, You are God. A blessing from your Father, a blessing from your love, a blessing from your Spirit shall be upon him who rejoices at your birth. At you, Michael's fiery ranks quake, the child who is God. The cherubim and other beasts harnessed to the chariot with its eloquent wheels are insufficient for you, O son of El Shaddai. Yet Mary's chaste bosom has contained you, for thus did your humility will it. You were contained, you, the uncontainable. For the sea of your mercies cannot be contained. 
the sight of your delights. Your smell is sweet. Your mouth is holy, O holy God. From all of you life bursts forth. Your bread is life in Bethlehem, the house of bread. For you are life from the one who lives. How sweet is your breath. How lovely your baby state. You are much to be desired as food, O compassionate one, for you are the food of heaven who gives life to the birds. O child born of a virgin, blessed is he who yearns for your blood. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. The shepherds offered to you a suckling lamb, O living Lamb of God. They knelt down and worshipped you, acknowledging you and giving praise to you, O Lord, the true shepherd. They returned back, full of amazement at the glory of the angel spirits who gave praise, clearly proclaiming, Glory to God in the supernal heights, peace upon earth, and good hope to humankind. You are the Father's child and the child of Mary. You are one and the same, O God the Word, who beyond nature came forth from a mother, but by nature came from the Father. From the Jordan, too, against want you came. From river, from mother, from father, you are the single child, O God, and in you are hidden endless utterances of wisdom as you lie there and suck the virgin milk from David's own daughter. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. A womb has borne you. A manger suffices for you. Simeon has carried you, O mighty God. Here you are contained, confined, and held in bodily form as someone who can be touched. You are the nature that cannot ever be contained. Yet here you are, contained within the small manger. Who can ever contain your being? Yet here you are, in a confined space. Though you cannot be contained, yet you have willed it to be contained. You, the limitless son who cannot be limited. You resemble your father. You resemble your mother. Which are you like? God is without form. Apart from your color, you resemble your father, in might and in being, in nature too and in authority. But you resemble Mary too, who gave you birth, for from her you acquired human form. You resemble your father. You resemble your mother. You resemble yourself. To you be praise, who has taken on the form of a servant. How persistent you are, yet how humble and mighty as well. Your genealogy is both revealed and hidden. As a child, you throw yourself in front of everyone, smiling at all who encounter you. Your eyes are merry with delight at all who kiss you. Your lips distill the fragrance of life while balsam flows from your fingertips. Your eyes are lovely as they gaze on your mother, who hungers for the sight of you, just as the church's own children are hungering for you. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. A spiritual being of fire are you, the son of being, who was embodied from the daughter of David, thus becoming part of the race of servants. Both bones and flesh do you possess, O bodiless one who became embodied. In truth, you are no created being, for it was you who brought creation into being. You created because you so willed it. You came into human existence because of your love. Yet you exist in dominion along with your begetter. The seraphim cry, Holy, 
the cherubim and the angels utter blessing as they give praise to your divinity. With their bodies they cover over the manger as Joseph and Mary stand by in awe and trembling at the sound of fearsome wings of the seraphim and the awesome thunder of their voices. Who is sufficient for you? Who can contain you? Who can investigate you? Who is so bold as to pry into your nativity? Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. O Son of God, you came to catch sheep that are rational. As child of the Virgin, you became yourself a lamb, and the sheep that were lost ran to meet you, hearing your voice as you bleated. Here is a lamb who has carried the dumb sheep. Here is a virgin who gives milk to the Ancient of Days as she carries him. Here is both the shepherd and the lamb, both priest and sacrifice, O suckling lamb. How gentle you are! Your mother is full of joy. Full of joy is Joseph. And you too are full of joy. O Lamb of Paschal Joy, Mary who gave you birth rejoices as she kisses you, the lion's cub at whose sound that fox Herod was shaken, stupid king that he was. You had brought his rule to an end and taken up your own rule which had been under his control. For you are king and king of kings. You fashioned Adam out of the dust and created your own mother. You depicted your own self in your mind, but your will depicted your humanity at your birth from your father. You did not establish your divine self, for you have no beginning. It was in Mary that you established yourself, because you so willed it. There stands Mary, your mother, your sister, your betrothed, your handmaid who knelt down and gave you birth. As she cuddles you, embracing you and kissing you, she gives praise and thanksgiving and prayer. As she holds you, she provides you with milk. She sings to you and smiles at your infant ways, while you, full of joy, suck her milk. She who gave you birth is bewildered. So too is she who gives you suck. Bewildered too is she whom you created. By means of yourself, O son, settle the mind of your mother. Teacher of his mother, God of his mother, Lord of his mother, both younger and older than his mother. Still yourself, for you have overwhelmed me with astonishment. Your precocity anguishes me. Who can set eyes on you and not breathe in your fragrance? Even your dribble causes onlookers to wonder, and your manifest form amazes rational beings. Your tiny hands are clasped, your feet are kicking. How lovely you are in every way. Even your mouth's murmur tells of your father. How gorgeous is your beauty, how sweet smell. Your mouth is very honey, O oh, infant God. The power that proceeds from your mouth causes heavenly beings to tremble while Mary stands by astonished at how all creation quakes at your mere nod. You in your grace provision both worlds, and yet here you are sucking milk from her whom you created. Blessed is he who made great the memory of his mother, both here and in heaven above. Thanks be to you, O Son of God, who has held me worthy to sing the tale of your nativity.
have pity, and forgive my shortcomings. May I give thanks to you, Lord, and praise you, for it is out of your gift that I have sung praise. On the day of your nativity, forgive our wrongs, and may your compassion bring healing to our disfigured state. May your peace, Lord, reign over your people and your church, and to you, Lord, be praise on this your feast day, O child most glorious. This has been Hymn 10 from Hymns on Mary by St. Ephraim the Syrian, translated by Sebastian Brock, narrated by James T. Majewski, production copyright 2021 by Trinity Communications. This podcast is brought to you by catholicculture.org and made possible by listener support. To donate, please visit catholicculture.org slash donate slash audio. That's catholicculture.org slash donate slash audio.